Yeah. So skill PoE2 skill calculator. We're gonna look at all of these. 168 of them. Ancestral water warrior totem. My bad. Um. <clears throat> Raises a totem that uses socketed mace skills. Also, this is the the one where you can put your skill on the the totem and it'll do the skill. This in time, yeah. Arc. So this is the chain lightning, right? Chain two times, shock fifteen. I wonder. I, so I'm gonna play monk, right? And I'm thinking, what if I run like mace skills like this and then run with my monk? So I do have a poll that's happening right now on Twitter um, where uh, I don't know which monk I'm going to for Ascendancy, at least for early access. And here, let me. So right now, the avatar is winning, so I might go Chaos Monk. Yeah, <laughs> I put up a poll. If you want to if you want to vote, it's on my Twitter. I'll let I'll let people decide. I was thinking I, I want to run both of them, right? So I'm gonna run the first one, uh, one of the choices, and then I'll make a new monk and I'll run the other one. Because right now you can't switch ascendancies. At least that's what they have currently. Who knows? It'll change in the future. They said they'll go back to it if anything, but that's that's how it is. So we have arc mage, uh, persistent lightning, while active. Causes your spell to cost additional mana and deal extra lightning damage, both based on your maximum mana. So you get 5% of your damage as lightning damage for each 100 mana you have, but it costs more. Okay. Okay. You know what? I should, I should just stay in too. <laughs> Arctic armor. Oh, we heard about, I heard about this in the, the, the end game trailer. 20 per 20 to 30 damage per stage five seven percent less fire damage per stage physical in this in a stage every 1.5 seconds of the maximum skill so you just get a barrier on you all the time right melee hits that hit will partially absorb by the barrier and then i guess you go down a stage every time you get hit so i'm i haven't touched poe in like seven years right so i don't know a lot of these skills i don't remember anything <laughs> Armor Breaker, but then we just started playing Path of Exile, right? Like two days ago, trying to get level 50 before PoE 2 drops. So some of these I do know, some of them I don't. Armor Breaker knocks the enemy back on hit, plus two. Oh, this increases the melee strike range. Hold on. Hits break. Oh, wait, these are all skills, right? These are all skills. And then we'll look at the support gems too after this. Uh, armor piercing rounds. It's not really a calculator, right? Right now, it's just all the lists. Yeah, okay. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not combining anything at the moment. Armor piercing rounds. So this is for mercenary attack speed, oh, 425. Damn, break seven armor, knocks back enemies. You can fire 14 bolts before reloading. Cool, cool. Ball of lightning. So this is a slow ball that comes at the enemy, right? Deals one point one to nineteen lightning damage. Hits enemy in range every point two seconds. Seven hundred fifty percent more chance to shock. So when they say more chance to, or when they say seven hundred percent, that means whatever the base thing. Let's say two percent. So it'll be seven times that, or seven point five times that, whatever it is, right? Okay, so if you have 1% shock, it'll be 7.5% chance shock. Fire the beam at target within 1 point, so you could ball any and go do, 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 do. Barrage, buff lasts up to 5 seconds. Up to, huh? So it can range. Buff causes your next ball attack to repeat 2 times. Oh, you can double it. Additional time for frenzy charge. So you have frenzy, uh, consume. Oh wait, so hmm. So if you do this spell and then you do a spill a skill that uses the frenzy charge, maybe it uses more. <laughs> it's only for bow attacks though, right? Part of the bow. Barret invocation. When hit, gain one energy for every five energy shield lost to damage taken. 
Okay, so one hit, you gain one energy for every five energy shields. So every time you lose five, you get points. Uh, you get one energy. What's energy used for? I'm assuming it's a casting thing. It's meta. <laughs> they have a meta typing. Nice. Bind Spectra. Capture a spirit of the defeated monster, allowing you to summon a minion. Yo, what if you? What if I just run monk and I just like you know? I want the, I want a minion too. We <laughs> just get, get a minion. It won't be good because you don't have any uh, minion skills, but yeah, you can have a minion and just you don't have because your your build you can you're gonna have to like slot stuff into the minion tree or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo, what if you just do a summoner bunk? You just dash around and have your minions do work, but then you just, like, you're just flicking and striking everything out of place. Just so you don't get hit, but then you just have your minions do all the work. You just use monk for movement. <laughs> Socket, curse, skill, apply. Okay, blasphemy. Socket, curse, skill, apply an aura around you. Oh, so you put this. Okay, so you have to socket or curse skill into this. Something like that. Reserve 30 spirit per socket's curse, and then it just aura of curses that you apply near you. Blazing Lance. Projectile appears all targets. Uh, so whatever, I guess you throw it, specific range. 150 base damage per second. Wait, so as it's... Don't, wait, so if you put a slow gem... What's up, Cherry? If you put a slow gem on your blazing lance, it will hit the enemy more per second. You go like, and then the lances go like, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> so that's where the slow can come in. Converts 50% of physical damage to fire damage. Blaze radius, uh, blaze secondary radius. Okay. Interesting. Bone cage raises the ring of uh, spikes and explodes when enemy touches them. Bone Offering. Impale the skeleton on a bone spike to shield your minions. Wait, so you do, do you have to sacrifice one of your skeletons to put it on another minion to give a bone shield? The shield absorb all damage. Oh wow, interesting. Uh, all damage from the next hit each the minion takes and then explodes. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Bone Shatter attacks enemy with melee strike. With a melee strike. The strike will cause heavy stun on enemies. Prime for stun. Upon causing a heavy stun, so that I guess that's when the, the stun bar hits the finishing thing, right? It will create a shockwave dealing AoE. And it gives you, it has plus two range on this. Does not cause stun buildup though. So it's a finishing strike on a stun. I mean, it does damage. <laughs> 50% damage. Bone Storm. Channel conjure a swarm of spikes in the air, then release two fire at enemies. So it just. It's bone Swarm, and you just send it off. Lodges enemies, uh, causing attacks against them to deal additional damage. Oh, and then it stays on them, and then they take extra damage when the thing is on them. Consume your power charges to cause the spike to explode on impact. Wait, so you have more charges that do more explosions? Bow shot is just fire arrow. Okay, so that's like the basic attack. But not an attack, it's a basic skill. Shorts? I'll watch that later. Turret with those volcanoes? Alright, let's go over this and I'll watch that after everything, yeah? Uh, I'll open it here so I don't lose it. To talk about today is Volk. Okay. I heard that some people got review a copies, right? Damn, I was hoping everyone will at least be on the same page and no one get review copies. But there's some people that got review copies. Not, I don't think any of the streamers though got some, but like the game reviewers. What is GGG doing, man? What is GGG doing? <laughs> Cast on crit. Oh, so this is one of those buffs. Okay, so you apply it on a skill, I'm guessing, when active. Gains, oh, it gains energy when you crit. Okay. 
and trigger the talking. Okay, so you socket a spell into this. Nice. You socket a spell into this, and then it would uh it would trigger that when you crit. Gain ten energy when you deal critical strike with a spell. Triggers all socketed spells and lose all energy on reaching maximum energy. Oh, so you have to get. So I guess energy. I don't know what energy does exactly, but so I guess when you get max energy. Maybe is energy a sort thing? I don't know. You get more energy and then they just cast all of them when they're in full. Nice. So you're charging it up with crits. So this is good for my crit build. Cast on freeze is the meta thing. Cast a buff that causes you to gain energy when you freeze. Oh, maybe energy is a spirit thing. <laughs> no, it's another resource on top of uh, like an energy shield. You get another resource, you get energy. Because there's mana and there's energy, right? Oh, this is reservation. Yeah, okay. Hunter spirit. Gains a buff that causes you to gain energy when you freeze enemies. Trigger. Ooh. I'm thinking if I want to go freeze... And there, I, I did I see something where you get, there's a there's a, a passive item where you can suck away the freeze and you do chaos damage. So if I'm going chaos monk, that's what I kind of want to do, and I just do freeze stuff, and then I just keep doing uh taking away the freeze, and I just keep reapplying it every time. <laughs> uh, having this would be good though. You got yourself Al Alfagato, nice. Is it hot over there? Trigger all socket spells. Oh, so you, this is the same thing as this, but this one's on freeze. Oh, that could work out actually. Hmm, interesting. Cast on ignite. This is probably the same thing, but for igniting, is it? Let's see. 26, oh, this is different. 26 increased energy generated and gains 20 energy when you ignite. Oh, but you get extra energy generation too. When you ignite enemy with a hit from a skill once per skill use. Oh, so you can't like AOE hit everything, everything getting ignited. I was cold and you got forgot. Oh, interesting. Code inside and out. Yeah. Trigger all socketed spells when maximum has a maximum of 10 energy per 1.3 seconds based on cast time of socketed spells. Hold on. Has a maximum of 10 energy per 0.3 seconds of base cast time of socketed spells. What does this mean? <laughs> So it has a maximum of 10 energy for every 0.3 seconds of base time. Oh, so the longer you're casting your spells, it gets extra maximum energy depending on your socket of spells, base, base case time. So if you socket like a bunch of them, like three of them, right? And then the base case time is like 10 each, it'll be 30 maximum energy. So the less socketed spells you have on it, the faster you get maximum energy. Okay. Because then you have to get maximum energy. Okay. Got it. I don't know. Do they have energy for each buff? Or do they all share energy? I, I don't know. Gotta, I gotta play on, to find out. Cast on melee skills. Melee kill. So dirty energy when you kill enemy. So this is the counter that you see in the... In what they explain the end game. Gain 30 energy when you kill an enemy with a melee hit. Triggers all socketed spells when maximum energy has 10 maximum energy per 0.1 second of base cast time. Oh wait, no. So it's 0.13. So if you have cast time of 10, 10, 10, then it'll be... Oh my god, it'll be ridiculous. It'll be a lot of max... The maximum energy is freaking huge. <laughs> or maybe cast time 1, 1, 1. Then it'll be... Uh... A round down, it'll be like a hundred for each spell, kind of. If I math correctly, I don't know. My my brain is mushy right now. <laughs> so this is the same thing, but this is point one. This is easier to math. Socket skills deal fifty percent more damage, though. Ooh. So these the casting knight and melee kill, they have a maximum energy increase. These don't. Interesting. Maybe the maximum energy is shared. Seems like it is. Cast on melee stun. So gain 10 energy per energy power when you heavily stun an enemy with melee hit. Gain 2 energy per enemy power when you stun enemy with a melee hit. Enemy power per enemy power when you... No, it's heavily stun. This is regular stun. 
triggered all socket it and then have 10 for points so this 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 restriction is the same as the one up here cast on minion death so when your minion dies <laughs> you get energy and then you just explode when your energy okay it's a counter for minion death so this is good if you're like exploding your minions and you're recasting them i've got gato's copy yeah i i i when i played cookie run i learned what alpha gato was <laughs> I think you also thrashed me about me not Alphagato that that back when. Cast on shock. There 20 energy when you shock an enemy with a hit from a skill once per use, so you can like AoE them. 10 energy base. Okay, so this has the also same restriction. Okay. Cast while channeling. Gain 60 energy per second while channeling. Wow, you get so much energy with this. So I guess they maybe you do share energy stuff and then you just have different things to just give you energy so you can like mix and match if you want. Yeah. Loses 25 energy um per second while you're not channeling. Oh damn, you have to be channeling. Never mind. Uh lose may maybe not. Loses all energy when reservation becomes inactive. So this part, what does that mean? I don't know. I guess I have to figure it out. Uh, sock triggers all socket spells and loses all energy with maximum energy, and then has a ten. Okay, this is the same thing. Charge staff, consume all power charges to infuse your quarter staff. So this this is for monks. Yeah, quarters consume all power charges to infuse quarter staff with electricity during the duration, adding lightning damage and lightning shockwave to your quarter staff. Reusing the skill while the buff is active grants additional duration. While the buff is active grants additional duration and damage up to the cap. Reusing it. So you use it and then you do it again. It just grants uh, additional duration. What does that mean though? Reusing the skill. Oh, reusing the same skill that you're using? So you put the buff and then you use the skill and then we use it again up to duration every time you do it until you catch the skill again. I'm guessing that's kind of what it is. I don't know. I gotta play around with it. Cluster grenade. I think this is the one that we saw on the is it firing bouncing grenade? Yeah, and it explodes, right? That's the one we saw in the end game trigger. Full radius, fuse duration, cold snap. Shatter a frozen enemy dealing large amount of cold damage in oh so you you break their frozen you detonate it use frostbolt to detonate it causing cold snap to trigger all frozen enemies near it so this is a spell shatter so shatter from the enemy dealing oh so you just go near them and go like boom and it just explode <laughs> you can be used on a frostbolt Oh, so if you shoot a frostbolt and then you do cold snap at the same time. Maybe. Uh, gain a friend combat frenzy. Gain a frenzy charge when you freeze, electrocute, or pin an enemy. No more than once every six seconds. Oh. Hey, if you do this and there's a keystone that changes the frenzy charge into a power charge, I think, or something like that. Maybe if it's that's the way you can just totally just do this and then you can use that and then <laughs> into this. <laughs> Buff and buffs. Comet. So if I'm in a comet that's cold damage, one point one second to total cast time hits are freezing. Plus one second to total cast time hits. Oh no, this is just extra. Hits are freezing. Hmm. Tar oh, so the targeting close up will cause it to float back as you cast. I'm assuming this extra second. Do you charge this? It's one second cast time and it's a plus one second to total cast time. What? So there's two seconds. <laughs> Dude, there's so many. Con, uh, con. Hagion? I don't even know how to pronounce this. Okay, it's just chaos. Inflict a single enemy with a debuff that deals chaos damage over time. If enemy dies while being inflicted, 
it and all other chaos damage over time debuff spread to nearby enemies so it's like rabies reanimating or detonating a corpse affected by this will cause the minion to explode and cause it to spread oh my god you can <laughs> so you can this is spreading poison rabies uh deals 1.8 spell damage modifier i wonder if i should just read this or i should read the, the actual thing skill damage modifier also applied to debuff damage over time increasing damage by 100 percent for each debuff transmitted so every time you transmit it it increases the damage <laughs> debuff lasts for five seconds infection radius is 1.7 so the more you spread the more damage it does interesting dark effigy raises the totem that bombard enemies afflicted by chaos damage over time debuffs Wait, wait, so this only attacks things that have this debuff on? Yeah, this is early, early access. Defiant Banner? While active, killing enemies with attacks or standing near the unique enemy generates Valor. So every time you kill or you just stand near a unique. Using this skill consumes Valor to place an inspiring banner with an aura that grants you and nearby enemies armor, invasion, and movement speed. While the banner lasts, the banner cannot gain valor while it's placed. You cannot place the banner while you already have one in place. Uh -huh. Yeah, poison causes da chaos damage. I know this is what poison means, but so you have to have they have to be poison or whatever debuff. What about bleed? Is bleed also chaos damage over time? Okay, do I need to read this? I feel like reading this thing is enough. This is just the numbers for it. You get one per second. 5% more Valor effect for Valor Banner Radius. For Val no, 5% more Aura for Valor. So more Valor you have, the more you do. The bigger it is, pretty much. And 12% more Invasion. So it 12% more Invasion and Armor and 8% Movement Speed. Oh, Bleed is Physical? Okay. Despair. Curses all targets in the area after a short delay, lowering their Chaos Resistance. Damn. So this, does this increase the poison damage too? <laughs> no, I'm going to do the 50 today, but I want to read this. This this is... The, so now I just uh, link me this and then I'll, I'll shoot. I'm going to take a look at this. Detonate dead. Causes corpse to violently explode damaging nearby enemies. They don't have the number though. How much damage does it do? <laughs> like this thing I feel will have, should have one of these. Maybe it depends on the corpse. Channel up to build up power before firing off an arrow. Oh, you can you can you can charge it. The arrow will detonate on impact at a maximum charge, causing an explosion around the area. Gain 120 damage, extra fire damage per stage, maximum five stages. Oh, it does. Okay, they should say surrounding enemy. Uh, according to the violently explode damage around enemy depending on the corpse's age. HP or something. Uh, let's see. Discipline. Allies add 38% of maximum mana to their maximum. Oh, you can add mana into your energy shield? Hmm. This might be useful. If you're going energy shield build. Earthquake. There it is. Yeah, there you go. Smashes the ground, dealing damage in the area, leaving behind jagged ground. I think I... Oh, no. we I seen this in the one. Oh, yeah, armor and fat backs out? No, it's energy shield. The, uh, the jagged ground erupts powerful aftershot after a short duration. Attacking again before erupting will not create another one. So it creates jagged lines and then... Uh, but then you can combine this with, like, other things. Maybe earth shatter, right? Letting out fissure, dealing area, passing through underground, spike, ground... From the ground when it ends. War cries and other slam. Yeah, like you do other slam attack. Oh wait, no, this is the one that trigger other slam attack. I don't know if this one does, but you can blow it up, right? You can blow up the jagged ground. Yeah. <laughs> Maximum five spikes, spike duration six seconds. Deal damage along fissure path. Emerging spike. Yeah. Electrocuting arrow. Leap forward into the air and fire arrow down. Forward, not backwards, huh? You leap forward. Hitting enemy and attaching electrocuting rod to them. Causing any incoming lightning damage to apply electrocution. 
So this is good for combining lightning attacks. This rod's removed bow only though. When enemy when the enemy is next is electrocuted. Okay. Oh, I make all lightning damage apply electrocution. As in a row. Elemental Invocation. While active, this invocation gains energy when you freeze, shock, or ignite an enemy. Using invocation once significant energy is gathered will consume the energy to trigger socket spells. Wait, this is like the other one, but this is for Elemental. For any of them. This is good for Monk. You're going to Avatar Monk too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe I don't need to go over numbers. I just look over the skills and maybe if the numbers are freaking ridiculous, then yeah. Man, damn, you gain 120 for freeze. So if you like freeze and then you ignite them and then you shock them right after, you can like freaking 375 right off the bat. And it's 12. I don't know what this 12% is to increase this. I don't know. Uh, Dio's. This is the buff too. Dio's 18 to 25 fire damage. Ember Bullisade. Conjure the blazing ember that hovers above you. After a short duration, the ember launches the enemy. So it stays on here and then pew! And then AoE. Recasting this skill will reach that duration for all active member embers. Multiple embers can be fired at the same. Oh wow. It conjures the thing and then it flies out. So you keep casting it. <laughs> okay, okay. Hover duration. You can accumulate up to 10 of them. Enfeeble. Though I'm not even like all the way done. <laughs> curse. Curse duration is 8.5. Okay, curse is all enemies in the area after a short duration. Oh, I think we've seen this in the. I've seen this in one of the YouTube video things. Do you shoot the area and then after a while, boop, curse. Curse unique deal 16% less damage though. Nice. Alright, escape shot. Converts 100% physical to cold damage. It has uh, 0.7 seconds to attack time. So you jump back and then you shoot, right? Which can chill or freeze enemies from where you jump from. Yeah, boom. 700% more freeze buildup. Essence Drain. Fire projectile that applies a chaos damage over time debuff. This is applying poison? Or... It Maybe it's not actually pop poison. Okay, is there other things that also cause chaos damage over time? Steel. This is a plasma diva. Explosive grenade launcher. Wait, this oh this is the bouncing grenade. Wait, what's the other one then? <laughs> that one's like a landmine. Explosive grenade launcher. Wait, this was another one that also shoots out a a fuse and it explodes. But that one, yeah, I don't know. Uh, converts this to fire damage. Explosive radius. Explosive shot. Loads a crossbow with a flaming bolt and fire an impact. The explosion would detonate any grenade and oh, you can combo this. You can throw this out and then like, you know, I don't need to wait for this. Boom. <laughs> Eye of the winter. I wish they have it by category and I can look at one skill at a time, you know, one class at a time. Uh, fires a single eye projectile, which does not hit enemies. The eye constantly release damage in shards. So you shoot an eye and it's called pew, 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 pew. All right. If the eye passes over elemental ground effect, it will take on an effect of the, ooh, okay. Nice, nice. So if you shoot over electric, you just shoot lightning bolts. Fire eight shards in a sp so I shoot eight of them. Modifiers the number of projectile only apply to the final one. Final one. And causing shard dealing hmm, final spiral. So at the end it would do a final one. Hmm. Doesn't say it on here. <laughs> Unless I read it wrong. As this oh it flies and then plus the extra burst of shard at the end of the flight. Okay, I, I did I did miss it. Falling thunder. Infuse your oh yeah, falling down. Infuse your staff with electrical energy, then slam the ground, dealing damage and AOE. So you go like this and then go like that. I think I saw a video of that. Consume power charge to fire lightning. Any power charge that you have to fire lightning projectile four from the impact. 
low clone lane four meteors 100 percent more damage of power oh so it doubles the damage if you use a power charge it pierces all enemies converts all of it to lightning 10 percent to shock 100 percent more wait why do two of these <laughs> wait why are there two of them is this trigger twice fires three projectiles per power charge oh wow hey oreo ferocious roar 0.6 seconds to total use time if not ready in bear a bear wait this is for druid huh <laughs> Shape shift into the bear and trigger war cry skills. Wait, can you shape shift into the bear as a warrior too? You can transform into a bear? I thought that's a druid thing. I don't know, it has war, war cry stuff, so maybe, I guess so. Shape shift into the bear and trigger war cry skills. Maybe, I haven't paid attention to the war, uh, warrior stuff. Socketed skills have 50% AoE, more damage, and. Attack exerted by socket skills also the more damage. Okay, so it's true. So you have to equip war cries onto it, and when you transform the bear, it'll do all of it. Ah. For six seconds to total use time if not already in bear. So you're not in bear, it's X use time. So it stays that no, it's not duration. Use time, maybe? <laughs> Fireball. That's simple, right? I don't need to read it. That, that, that damage. Phew. Okay. Firestorm. Flaming bolts. Okay, so this is a bunch of bolts fly from the sky. Target area. Firewall. We saw this in the gameplay trailer thing, right? Secondary debuff. Uh, basic fire damage. Any projectile file through, we get added extra fire damage. Flame blast. Channels to build destructive energy around you or a targeted solar orb releasing the energy causing devastating explosions that are larger and tense the longer the channel the channel for okay this is typo but whatever <laughs> deals 100 hmm, for stage so you can channel onto a thing or around you and then go boom 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 Flame ability. Yo, I'm not even halfway through yet. Curse all targets in an area after a short delay, lowering their fire resistance. Curse radius is 1.7 meter. Curse enemies have negative. Oh, so is it okay? It's a curse to make them more resistant. More. Uh, what's the word? <laughs> more flammable. Fla fla flammable, I guess. Flash grenade, blind enemies, 100% more. Oh, wow. No, 10 times more stun buildup. <laughs> does, does it even do damage? It doesn't even do damage, it just flashes them. Flicker strike, yay. I, I, I like this skill. Teleports and strike three additional times per power charge. With. Uh, I need. Okay, so I need things to generate power charge, and then I need things to use to power charge. You cannot gain power charge while using this skill. And strike additional. Okay, so you can't you can't oh, you can't gain power charge from this. You have to change for somewhere else and then use flicker strike. Black muta fragmentation rounds. So this is like the uh shotgun. Both hit frozen enemies, uh consumer freeze and shatter the crystal cause explosion. Yeah. So this is 50% damage though. Here's two targets. Fire 10 bolts for burst. Freezing mark. Mark duration is 8 seconds. Uh, hits enemy and cause more freeze. So you mark them, then you're more likely to freeze them. Frost bomb. Greater crystal that pulses. Each pulse applies the debuff around enemies. For a second duration, which reduces their life and energy shield regeneration and also inflicts close exposure. When the duration ends, it explodes, dealing heavy cold damage to enemies around it. So it does this and then boom! Eat it. 
I'm guessing it also changes itself because you're adding cold exposure, and I'm assuming that does more damage to cold or something, and then it explodes it. This is the mark, freezing mark, more likely to freeze. Frost wall. This is pretty much like flame wall, huh? Creates a wall ice crystal that hold back enemy. The I the wall will sh shatter if significantly damaged or push hard enough, dealing damage around. Oh, so you put a wall, and then when it breaks, it boom explodes around. The resistance, so elemental penetration. Yeah, this one makes it more likely to freeze. Instead of actually taking more damage, it's more likely to just freeze. A cold corpse nova erupt from the corpse. You can even use it on a, on a corpse. <laughs> use the corpse. Frost bolt. Fire a slow projecting projectile, piercing a projectile, and leaves a wake of chill. Oh, okay. Leave an ice trail. Frozen lotus. Leap backward and fire. Oh, this is a monk skill. Leap backward and strike a uh, ground or a staff skill, I guess. Just saying. Yeah, if you want to put a freeze or, you know, just, just do this. <laughs> maybe you have to freeze. Build e oh, maybe you can mark them and then also have, um, whatchamacallit, get power charges from it. Yeah. And then you use the flicker strike or something. Use up your your power charges. So it's all about comboing at the moment. Um, you backward and strike the ground with your staff. Oh, this is the one that we see when they jump back and they put the ice ice layer and it comes out. Okay. And then if the crystal is destroyed, icy explosion will deal uh deal that deals attack damage, but it does not use your weapons damage. Wait, what? It uses the attack damage, so it just uses this instead of your weapon damage. Ferocious slam. Shape shift in the bear and ground. Dude, can you shape shift as a warrior? I feel like I missed this. <laughs> I thought it was like a druid thing. But then it, I saw the uh, the uh, above was talking about war cries. And I was like, uh, unless druid can also use war cries. Uh, slam the ground and force and stunning shockwave. 50 physical damage. So just go try from the bear and go boom. Extra seconds if you're not already in the bear. So it oh, so it takes more time because you have to transform the bear and then do it. <laughs> I'm guessing what the, that's what this is. Hit enemy stunned as though dealing ex dealing damage. Hold on. Hit enemies hit stun enemies as though dealing so if they're stunned, they do even more you do even more damage. Yeah, probably. Is this okay? So I know that warrior have ascendancy where it actually uses like power of animals or whatever, right? Maybe, maybe that's what that is. If you get that ascendancy, you can transform. Uh, I don't know, but I feel like this is a druid skill though. <laughs> maybe they allow you to get druid skills. But then there's the Warcry one, so that's why I like it's maybe it's the warrior thing. I don't know if this one has it, but um this one just has skill gems and sport gems. Gav I give a tonic, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Shards, loads of crossbow and a clip of charge bolt that fires and bursts. Releasing chaining lightning beam that hit enemies. So this is chain lightning. Pop 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 pop. Gas arrow. Rain the arrow arrow down from above creating a cloud. Okay, so you put poison gas. And you can detonate it. Fire explosion. Glacial ball, which is pretty much the same, but ice. Oh, this one creates walls. <laughs> and knocks the enemy back and yeah, please build up. Okay. Glacial Cassade. This is the the monk wait. This one sweeps forward, upward, releasing a thin wave. Wait, this is that one. Wait, this is the glissade. Wait, wait, what's the other one then? Where is it? This lotus on leap back when it strikes the ground. Go for ice crystal, which chills the ground and can be damaged by you and your enemies. Oh, this is different. This actually summons an ice crystal and you can hit it. It is used as the wall. And then this one is just the little ones. A thin okay. 
Final burst surges flutter with large spots of ice. Any frozen enemies hit by this will also take another take another more powerful hit. Oh, so this is different. I thought I thought this one was that one. <laughs> yeah, you can you can burn them. And you can I explode them. As well. Grim feast. Feast on a corpse to bolster your energy shield. Okay, so okay. While active minions and uh, enemies and minions that die in your presence will gain the grim remnants. Picking up grim. Oh, so you, okay. So if you have corpses to each energy shield and also while it's active, um, every time enemy dies, it's an orb you can pick up for energy shield. And it can overflow. Yeah, so you can get even more. You can actually, you can use this as a monk too. You don't even need minions, you just kill enemies for it. <laughs> you can just you can just kill enemies. Just give me orb. Give me energy shield. You can overflow it. I don't know if it's a monk skill that's gonna have to deal damage based on your energy shield, or or maybe like a sword skill that does that. Then you can just stack on energy shield and just go like, bam, eat it. Because I know monk ha the ascendancy for the avatar have a uh, meditate. You can double your energy shield. <laughs> so what if you start stacking and then double it? And give it to the next person, you know? I give it to the boss. Oh. Hammer of Gods. Is this like, uh, ancient? And it's to crush your enemies, manifesting a massive hammer that fall. It is kind of like it. Cannot be invaded. Oh, wow. Hand of Shishkula. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Oh, an arm? Yo, I'm using this then. If I'm going... The Kukula, I'm totally using the skill. I don't care what it says. I haven't looked at it, but I'm using it. They ask your enemy and strike them with unarmed attack, applying socketed curse and marks them with. So I, I feel okay. So I'll be feel if I do Kukula, I seem like I'm gonna be going curse monk. I curse them and then I just I just whack them like hell hard or something. The skill always strike with your bare fist, even if you have a quarter staff equipped. Ah, yeah, and it can be invaded and it can crit. Yeah, but they said right now there is no face breaker in early access, but they're they're gonna add unarmed stuff uh later, but right now there's not that many good unarmed things. Uh so it is what it is. <laughs> but I'm, I'm totally still gonna use this. I'll just apply curse and then use it to apply curse or or maybe also apply power charge, give me power charges, so I'll start off with that and then I just blow them up with something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Enemies you certainly overkill with attacks will cause explosion. That nice nearby enemies. But it's good for overkilling, huh? Burn surround enemies of overkill base. For mobs. Peril of ice. Shattering enemy. Yo, if I, I I don't know though, I might go ice though. Maybe ice and chaos may be good. And then run this. No way, but I won't be shattering though. I think I saw a support gem where it takes up a freeze, so you won't be shattering. But we'll see. Uh, while active, killing a poison enemy uh, will spread the poison, so it's like rabies. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the poison. Oh yeah. Who knows what I'll do with chaos monk? I I feel like chaos monk is poison anyways, right? So I can go poison and ice. Peril of Thunder. While active, killing shock enemies with attack damage will release lightning bolts with deal da damage to other. So it just spread lightning. But you can't inflict shock with the shock. <laughs> but sure. It gives you more charge to poison and crab companion that poison stuff. Oh, really? Uh, lightning bolts strike the target of your next five attack hits after killing a shock enemy. Interesting. Okay. Buff grants one to ten added attack lightning damage. That's blast. Detonate curses on enemy in an area, causing explosions of chaos damage, but removing the curse. Wait a minute. What if you do this as a monk too? You just apply all the curses and stuff, and you just blow them up with hex spell, hex blast. <laughs> I could. I don't know how good that will be, but that sounds that's that's pretty much exploding palm. 
<laughs> I'm exploding palm. I'm like palming them and then exploding them. Yeah, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Okay. We'll see. Something to play around with. High velocity round. Oh, we've seen this. Uh, that's piercing, right? Uh, piercing bolts that consume broken armor. And it knocks them back, too. Yeah, it's something to think about. Ice Nova. So, Ice Nova expands from you, knocking enemies based on how close they are. Casting Ice Nova, uh, targeting near a Frostbolt projectile will cause it to originate from the Frostbolt instead of you. And cause more buildup. Wait, so you cast a Frostbolt and then do Ice Nova. Chaos Damage and Ascendancy. I mean, right now on this thing, it seems like I'm going chaos. So far. Three days left. Please decide. Uh, ice Shard. Load up a crossbow and rapidly fire in the ground, leaving Shard of Ice and Impact unless the bolt hits the enemy. So it leaves the ice thing and then boom. Okay. And then ice shard shatter when enemies stepped on them. Oh, so you just drop ice shards and you're doing the thing. <laughs> yeah, but I made I made it in early. Maybe I should have made it five days, you know. Ice shot. Convert. I think I gave a few days so I can start planning kind of what I want to do. Ice shot. A uh, fire icy arrow that's we're halfway there, guys. <laughs> Fire icy arrow that sprays a cone of ice uh, shards when it hits the target. So it hits and then it will boom like this. Hitting a frozen enemy will consume the freeze and dealing still be more damage and break off large shards that fly off further. Wow, so we can go even more more AOE too. Can I inflict freeze? But it takes up a freeze. Ice spear. Throw icy copy of your spear that deals cold damage. After wait, who uses spear? I guess, wait, is these skills are for future classes? Because it's a Templar thing, right? Or something? I don't know. Who uses a spear? So maybe the the bear thing is for Druid. It's not for Warrior. Because, I don't know. I guess you can still use it as a Warrior, though. You can go Bear Warrior! Because <laughs> you're using War Cries. Huntress. Okay, Huntress. Yeah. Massively, after a short distance, it arms. Massively boosting his damage. When the spear breaks an enemy, against an enemy, it deals damage in a cone shape behind him. Well, it's kind of like this, but with a spear. Yeah, okay, so they do have skills in here that are like, seems like they're for different classes, but maybe they'll still be an EA. Ice Strike. Perform a fast icy strike using this attack three times. Oh, this is for quarter staff. Wait, this is like figure strike, flicker strike, but it's for ice. It's just it doesn't teleport though. But <laughs> using this attack three times in quick succession, causing a final strike that is slower and more powerful. So go boom, boom, boom. Okay. Interesting. This could this seems like a good thing to build up power charges though. We we'll have to see. I'm, think, I'm still thinking of what I want to use for... Well, we'll figure it out once I figure out what I'm doing here. <laughs> Impale the spear. Jump back from the target and then deal melee damage. So you so you jump back and then you poke him with a spear. Cannot be performed without targeting the enemy. Oh, okay. 100% hits will be immobilizing. Wow. You immobilize him. <laughs> and it gives you extra range. Immobilize enemy as though dealing 200%. Oh, is there a mobilized enemy as though dealing 200% more damage? I don't get what this means, but okay. Incinerate shot. This is a fire shot, right? It knights them. All, hits all with the knights. 80%. Uh, multiple bullets from one burst can hit the same target. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is a, it's like a shotgun shot, but... If you stand closer to them, you, hit, you can hit them multiple times. Infernal War Cry. Oh, yo, Killing Pump. Uh, perform War Cry, taunting enemies to attack using and power subsequent as uh, uh, whatever I can't read right now. Attacks consume all endurance charges to empower additional attacks. Enemies in the War Cry area are destabilized and will combust on death. What the fudge? Perform taunting and then it consumes to empower additional attacks. 
Oh, so the more you hit, the more damage you do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you do it, and then the more you get hit, the more the more you do. And it also consumes charges. 4% okay. Warcry speed and power to the next melee attack. Plus additional attack for... Oh! Charge radius is 4. Empowers attack gain 25% per 5 power of enemy in range. So more enemies around you too. So you do it and you go da 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 da. Yeah, boom! Big, big damage. Killing Palm. I was thinking of using this, but this is just a killing strike attack. But it can't be blocked. I mean, it cannot be evaded. This attack does not benefit from weapons. So you just go, you just go up to him and go pow! Finishing strike. How much can you cool though? Uh, it doesn't say anything. Attack damage ninety nine percent though. Oh, it still does decent damage, huh? I strike them one arm, cooling enemies if their life is low enough. Oh, this is actually pretty decent if it does damage too, huh? Each enemy killed by the strike gives a power. Oh, so this is how you get a free power charge. Yeah, I remember they saying that in the thing. This skill is always performed on arms. Oh man, what if I use this instead? I don't think I'm still not sure what pump I'm gonna use, but Hannah Kula seems like a good replacement. <laughs> Leap slam, jump in the air and do damage, damaging, knocking back enemy with your mace where you land. This is a typical barbarian skill, right? Based on distant travel. Mm hmm. It's 500, 500, five times the skill, the stun build up. Against broken armor, people. And fro fully broken armor on enemies after hitting. So I go boom, and then, and then if it breaks, it breaks. <laughs> Lightning arrow. Hitting on an enemy or a wall, the arrow will fire beams at nearby enemies. Wait. So you hit something and then it'll just spread. <laughs> lightning bolt. Call down. Let's throw a lightning bolt. Boom. Okay. Lightning conduit. Call down a lightning to strike all enemies in a cone in front of you. Deal significantly more damage to shock enemies, but remove the shock from them. Lightning rod. Fire an arrow that drops from above, creating a lightning burst. The arrow. Wait, what's the difference between this one and the other one that drops a rod? <laughs> uh the arrow remains on the ground any channeling lightning beam chained to it when chained to arrows release another energy burst oh that i think i don't want to shock this one actually just shoots lightning bursts okay lightning storm d creates a lightning storm for duration we repeatedly strike enemies in the area okay so like it's like blades but lightning <laughs> lightning warp this lasts for 10 seconds though base and it gives shock. It hit enemy each enemy once every 0.4 seconds. Maximum one at a time. Lightning warp. Tar targets the enemy and teleports to them after duration. Oh, okay. And if if they can be cold. Enemies around you that can be cold will be highlighted. When enemy teleport occurred, tar and the target is cold, explode doing lightning damage. Huh. It doesn't do any base damage though. <laughs> Casting and hang will queue up multiple tor teleportations, but you use it to teleport. Do look delicious? Mm. It was good. So this is a movement spell, but it can Yeah, see my Lightning, lightning warp though. Hmm. So you can just use the movement skill, and then if it just happens to kill something, happens to kill something. <laughs> well, after yeah, after duration. So let's see. Oh, it deals it deals damage. Never mind, right here. Deals damage four to seventy five, and then it explodes, and then you can call them. Lingering illusion creates a copy. Uh, whenever you dodge. Oh, this is pretty good. Every time you roll, just keep rolling. <laughs> I didn't eat. I don't think I ate that in Thanksgiving. I ate that during prior to Thanksgiving. <laughs> I just had them stored up on my phone. Like I share all my foods. Magma barrier. 
When you raise a shield, it is infused with magma for a short duration of time. Oh, you can make the block thing. Wow, you can change your shield into a magma shield. Blocking the time with great magma. Oh, damn. I feel like some people will go shield build and just like block and then just like, oh, yeah, eat it kind of thing. You get hit by magma and you get endurance charge. Malice emits an aura that continuously inflicts critical weakness, so a higher chance to crit. Nice, nice. Mana remnants conjure surging lightning that causes shot enemies you or your minions kill to leave behind mana and remnant. So this is okay. This is used. Oh, interesting. This is for um. This is you could double your. This is for mana instead of energy shields. So this is for shocking them. Mana Tempest. Create an arcane storm around you. The storm empowers your spells with lightning damage. Only spells though. While making lightning spell projectile and beam able to hit more targets. The storm will drain your mana when you remain in it. And any spells you cast added to the mana drain. Damn. <laughs> Leaving the storm will cause it to dis dis dissipate slowly. So you put an area and then you can just like give you a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'll be playing early access on launch. I'll be streaming. I took the video. Tagging me. So you pretty much put like a, a buff. You put an area and then you get buff every time in there. But then you're also losing mana hella fast. A mall. So this is this is your skill, man. You chain your bear and you just wipe them. <laughs> Cause bleed. No, it's not muted. Uh, oil grenade launcher. Oh, it is the oil version. Bouncing grenade that releases a pool of oil. Oh, okay. And does 75% damage. Base duration. So the oil lasts a while. And you can explode it. You can explode. Orb of storms. Create a stationary electrical orb that strikes enemies in the area of effect with beams of lightning. So you just go boom and it just hits everything. And then it splits hitting more enemies when it hits. Ca modifier to cast speed will increase how frequently it does this. Oh wow. You can, if you have hella fast happy, you go like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I think it's on your side. Pain offering. This is the different from bone offering. Impale the skeleton on a bone spike. Empower minions to, into a frenzy. Oh, so instead of giving a shield or whatever, it makes them go, go crazier. <laughs> Perfect strike. Channeling. Charge up your weapon while channeling and release the moment you fully charge the wave of fire. So you're going boom. Okay. It's a fire spell. Permanent frost bolts. Charge or load up your crossbow with icy bolts that fire in a burst. So it's like a shotgun. Damaging enemies hit in a small cone behind them. Okay, hit and hit behind them. Uh, the icy coats on the boats make them extremely well, makes them easier to freeze. Okay, knocks them back so that boom makes them easier to freeze. Plague bearer stores all your poison damage you deal using plague nova skill unleashes a store poison. Wait, what? So you put a buff, and then every time you put poison on something, you store it up, and then you can do a nova. After what? So that poison you deal using plague nova skill. Oh wait, store all the poison damage you deal. So you have to do a Plague Nova skill and it'll, it'll store it up. What does that do though? It just stores it up. <laughs> ah, okay. Poison Burst Arrow. But yeah, I'll, I'll be playing a launch. I took the day off. On Monday and on the Monday after and that Friday that is dropping. Fire an arrow that poison enemies on hit. When it lands, it creates a poison cloud. Nice. Poison deflected by the skill, deflected by modifier, skill effect duration. I'm playing Monk though. I'm for sure playing Monk. I'm always gonna play Monk. I'm only gonna play Monk. I'm not gonna play another class. <laughs> I'll play like a variety of Monk. Like I could play maybe a Monk with something else. Who knows? Power offering minion. Oh, this makes them, uh, oh, impale skeleton, you get a power charge. Unless the spike is destroyed. Impale a skeleton on a bone spike. What's a bone spike though? Do you like? 
Profane ritual. Marks a corpse with profane ruin, dealing chaos damage over time nearby enemies. When the ritual is complete, it explodes. No, it consumes it, and then you get a power charge. Oh, okay. You can get power charges like, yo, what if I use a monk and I just do profane ritual? I'll play Necro Monk. Like, I kill them, and then I take their thing, and I get my own power charge, and then power my moves. Add it to dumb down, skill to dumb down, crafting. Dumb. I never played Path Exile 1, so who knows? They made it more accessible and more not dumbed down, but more accessible. I don't know much about Path of Exile 1, per se. And I think the target farming, I did probably working on that because it's not done. <laughs> Currency, actually, it made it easier. I don't think it's dumbed down. I think they made it easier. You can get more of them. I don't know if it's dumbed down. You just get more of them. It's kind of the same thing. Crafting, they also made it that you can do it more often. So instead of it being dumbed down, it's more like you're gaining more pulls in the gacha game. So it's like three, three pulls. Three pulls. I haven't gotten any game in Path XL1, so I don't know. <laughs> about Atlas? It seems fun though, since it's infinite. I don't know if Atlas is infinite in POE1. Puncture. Lunge towards a target dealing melee damage. This attack is more powerful in the use of the distance. Oh, oh this is a spear skill. <laughs> Puncture. So you do more damage on the tip, right? I guess. And besides, I feel like the skills here is easier because you don't have to deal with having links on your equipment. So actually, it's the buff instead of being dumbed down, in my opinion. Right? Having the skills being there, and then you put the, the sockets onto the skills over there instead. And it gives more vers versatility, in my opinion, from what I've seen. Because I'm only, I'm only, what, I'm only level 40 in uh, FXL1. After seven years. <laughs> I have a level 81 Slayer, but I don't remember anything of it. I don't know. Uh, Raging Spirit buff. Reserve spirit. Okay. While active, your fire spells will also summon raging spirit. Oh, this is the one we saw in the endgame trailer. Which is short flaming spirit that rests down enemies and rapidly attack them. Okay, okay. So 70% damage. You only get 10 max. Uh, projectile from fire spell summon spirit on hit. Rain of arrows. This is typical rain of arrows, right? I don't need to read it. <laughs> 53 arrows, though. <laughs> Ray shield. Raise your shield to block. Oh, this is for blocking. Block. Okay, so. Oh, you have to equip it if you want to actually block. Raise zombie. Maximum 10 zombies. Uh, empower duration. Empower zombies. But you can empower a zombie? Oh, if you have a power charge, you can empower them. Oh, you can power. Consume a corpse or power charge to create a zombie. My bad. Zombie created from power charge. Okay, yeah, it is. <laughs> so if you create from power charge, they're empowered. So it lasts longer. No point if you. No, 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 no. I'm thinking about the permanent minion thing, but I don't think that applies to this. Rampage, shape shifting the bear and rampage forward. Oh, this is like last epoch. I could try totem build, and you saw one of the notable able to summon unlimited totems. <laughs> Yeah, but then I think if you have limited totems, it takes up your spirit though, right? Every time you have more totems, it takes more of your spirit. So you're just gonna have to, you just kind of like get more spirit somehow, and then you can get more totems. Yeah. Rapid assault. Perform a series of fast stabs. Oh, this is for spear. Yeah, so you can a lot of charges, more more comboing opportunity, I guess, in a sense. Rapid shot, load up and go. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. For unleashing a stream of flaming bolts that gain fire damage based on your heat. Dude. Uh, heat also grants bonus damage to grenades you fire, but dissipates rapidly when not building up. Okay. So you're not using it when you're not building up heat, you lose it slowly. Using the skill again reloads the clip. Not, it did knockback. 
resonating shield repeat repeatedly strike your shield so with your weapon so you're like bong 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 okay enemies hit with the shockwave lose their armor for duration and while using resonating shield your shield is raised and you'll block so it's pretty much raised shield but you should go six mana though hit to break armor and it does based on your offhand which is your shield <laughs> And more armor you do on your sh the more armor you have in your shield, the more damage it does. Rolling magma on oh, the magma ball, lava fire orb that area hits the ground and then it just bounces for oh, it bounces. So it's a Mario, it's a Mario fireball. <laughs> the number of bounces refresh when passing through a flame wall. Oh, wow! So if you just bounce it and then you have it and just at the firewall, you can keep bouncing some more. Okay. I see you. Rolling slam. I think this is the one that uh, you kind of start off with as the warrior, right? Stand ground and stun enemies and knock them away. Then you can continue forward and do another one. Yeah. Sandstorm swipe. It is a. It was D and uh, play storm, but with spears. <laughs> yeah, this is this is for okay. This with spears, huh? Interesting. Savage plating. Use fragments of armor savage from enemy to oh okay they have armor on them though. Fully breaking an enemy. Yo, this, this you're pretty much becoming that guy from One Piece that grabbed metal. Fully breaking the armor grants you a stack. Oh, this is for armor breaking. Okay. A stack plating for duration. You can gain armor and you can gain armor and thorns for stack. We can do Thorns build. You can salvage them too. Seismic Cry. Form a war cry, taunting enemy, knocking them back. And if an enemy is stunned, every stun is hit, your additional. Oh, so you power up your next slam. Or you power your next slam with additional aftershock. It does damage too. You knock them back. Ignores enemy monsters. Uh, physical damage reduction. So you do full damage. Desert <laughs> the next damn. Okay. Shattering palm. There it is. Dash your enemy and strike them with unarmed attack, attaching a chunk of ice to their body. When enemy takes enough damage from hits or dies, the ice explodes. Oh, you just put it on them. So it's like uh, putting a time bomb on them. <laughs> put a time bomb and then boom. I don't know how good that would be, but uh, sure. Heal charge. Channel. Inferno wall with ice. Yeah. But this one's a dash though. You get a free dash. I don't know. Inferno blow. Do you get a dash with a Inferno blow? I haven't used this. So I don't know. Uh, shield charge. Channel. No. Yeah. So this one you get a dash. <laughs> this is a punch. Yeah. This is when you get a free dash. But you have to be unarmed or of course. Yeah. Channel to charge into the target direction. Oh, this is huge charge. Okay, this self-explanatory. But your damage based on how much armor you have on your shield. Shield wall raises your shield into the ground, throwing up a wall of earth. Oh, so we saw this, and then you can like break it too. Attacks of the wall, your slam will instantly destroy them. Each wall explodes when destroyed, damage enemies around it. Yeah. And the damage is based on your shield too. Wall section has maximum of life. I'm pretty sure you can increase it, right? Shockwave totem. This is self-explanatory too. Do you 5 to 8 physical damage. Sigil of power. Oh, sigil. Okay. Place the sigil on the ground, providing a powerful spell damage buff to you and allies while standing in it. So this is good if you're like, tur you're a turret. <laughs> Uh, buff becomes more powerful the more mana you spend on it while standing. Gain the stage when you sp oh so you keep yeah so you keep spending stuff and it gets stronger and stronger. Wow okay interesting. Siphoning strike, but you can do it on a minion too. So you can do taunt on something else and then just go go ham. Siphoning strike dash your target and hit him with a oh it's like picking strike but with siphoning. If the target is shocked, you consumed it and released lightning, and you get a power charge. Interesting. Okay, there's a lot of different combinations I can do here. 
that I'm like kind of thinking about. Yeah. So it consumes a shock and then you take a power charge, but you also give a shock wave. Yo, I, what if I just do a whole monk build where I just all bunch of dash, I just you run all dash attacks. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm just going to take, I'm just going to do dash attacks. That might be something I kind of want to do too. Like take the, the, all the palm strike, shattering palm and everything and just keep dashing in between stuff. <laughs> Put a time bomb. Put a lightning thing and then get power charge and but then I have I have power charges and I need to use them though. That's the only thing I didn't think about. Skeleton arsonist. Oh, this is what you mean. Summons a bomb throwing reviving skeleton arsonist. Oh, so it's pretty much not a skeleton warrior, but a ranged one. The bomber. Skeleton brute. Summon the hard hitting reviving skeleton brute that stuns prime enemy. Oh, this is a stunner. There's a tank and a stunner. And it, oh, you get a healer. You get a healing one. <laughs> and it can revive. Oh, damn. Minion from the skill had 20. Oh, wow. You get a reviving skeleton. Skeleton frost mage. I mean, this is kind of <laughs> self explanatory. Minion from the skill. Oh, you can also. But having these will also increase your elemental resistance for your minions. Oh, no, from this thing. Minion from this skill. This has extra resistances. Skeleton Reaver. This is the dress also. This is like a rogue. <laughs> reviving Reaver. Reviving Reaver and Rage on Command. Very aggressive. You got, ar you got different armies now. You can have a sniper. <laughs> you can have a sniper skeleton. You can have a storm mage one. This is lightning. This is a frost one. This is a lightning one. Is there a fire one? Skeleton Warrior. This is the, the basic one. Snipe, okay. You have a bow, you can snipe them. You can charge it and then pew! Okay. Sniper mark. Mark a target and the next one it's critical hit. And then you give your frenzy charge. The arsonist, you can bomb them. Oh, wait, the, ar the, uh, the arsonist is a fire one. Well, I didn't say fire damage though, but I, I guess it's yeah, implied. Solar orb. Uh, we saw Solo Orb above. There's something about Maze doing Solo Orb thing. Uh, creates this Fire Orb that does fire damage. Casting this skill again will replace the previous orb. Okay. Enemies that are very close to Orb take burning damage. Sorcery 1. Creates a project protective barrier which takes elemental damage from hits for you until it depleted. The bear will restore to full value after a short delay if, oh, if you stop taking elemental damage from hits or is if depleted. Buff recharges after 9.5 seconds. You cannot cast the spell directly. Elemental damage from hit. Oh, so you just have it on? It's a trigger spell. So it's that extra layer of shields on you. Extra layer of shield. This skill costs nothing. <laughs> And nothing. It's just there. This is just nice to have. I'm not gonna lie. Just just to have it. Wow. You can, it takes a, a skill slot though, but you know you can just have it there. It's like ah, oh, I don't want to deal with it. Just just put this on. <laughs> a spark launches a spray or sparkling uh, projectile that travels erratically. So it's random, huh? Until it hits something, and then it explodes. Five, five of them. Spear field it requires spear. So you, I'm assuming you summoning the spear. Yeah, from the ground. Yeah, there. The spear remains for duration or explode when enemy touches them. Wow. You can, can you use that the wall. The wall of spears. Maximum seventy spear. That sounds like a lot. <laughs> staggering palm. Here's a staggering one. Uh, this is for heavy stunning, right? Yeah, heavy stunning enemy grants you a buff that causes your quarterstaff unarmed to also fire for fire projectiles. The skill always unarmed. So this is okay. So depending on what kind of palm I want to use, they have a decent amount of palm attacks though. Not gonna lie. Stampede charges for crack cracking the earth, leaving past a grad 
jagged ground every footstep. At the end of your charge, a massive leaping slam damages the enemy, causing so you're like boom, 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 and then you jump. <laughs> Aftershock, causing all the patches in the ground. So you can put more jagged. You can combine with the other one, that earthquake, right? Just summon gravity, and then you stampede on it, right? Storm spear. Throw a single copy of your spear. When it hits the enemy, burst fire and lightning bolts. Okay, so this is the spear one. Crossbow, storm blast bolt. Load your crossbow with charged bolt that land around the target location. So it just lands there and explodes by a detonator skill. If hit by the skill. Okay, five three bolts before reloading. It does. It's annoying. I wish it grows grew slower. <laughs> Uh, storm caller arrow. Fire an arrow that embeds where it lands. After the lay, the arrow will call down lightning strike. Oh, high shock chance, too. It doesn't say how much, though. Summon a wolf. This is five for Druid. <laughs> Summon a wolf. The wolf howl when the first emerge, making crit hits more likely nearby enemies. Oh, I need both. Sun thunder. This is in. Yeah. Stand the ground, creating a shockwave, turning terrain that damage enemy. In the area in front of you, a number of enemies hit by the wave will release a shockwave, damaging other enemies. Always crit enemies with broken armor. Uh, end fully grown armor on enemies after hitting. Oh, it takes it up. Waves up to five enemies each area. Wave damage five areas. Wave gain for two radius. Okay. Super charge slam. Oh my god. Channel, you can charge it up. Drawing the earth from around around you and then go boom dealing damage in the area. So this is the big the big damage. Warcry can empower this attack as though it is not channel. Wow. <laughs> Use Warcry. Yeah. Channeling end after one second after maximum. Oh, so if you charge it and you got max, it will just automatically unleash it. We still want after per stage. Aftershock. Tempest Bell. Oh, this is the one that we've seen. D D3. You're playing thanks for alert. Uh build combo successfully striking enemy. So you summon the bell and every time you hit it, it'll just do shockwave. And if you hit it with elemental, it'll add elemental from that attack. Tempest Fleury. Oh, I kinda wanna do this. Perform an aggressive strike, so it's probably like this. <laughs> Temporal chain. I'm I'm interested in this attack, but I kinda wanna go on arm. In no time, yo, you pro. I haven't played another Stranova in a while. I've been busy on this. Temporal chains. Curses all enemy in the area, lowering their action speed and making them all oh, add a curse. Boom shaka laka. Tornado. This is this is, is it random? Cause the enemy Oh no, it just creates a tornado. I'm assuming at the area. It doesn't move around. Or does it? Who knows? <laughs> tornado shot. Oh, this is for a bow. Whiffs up a tornado where it lands. Oh, she shoots somewhere and then it fires. And then it'll summon a tornado. Dealing damage over time. Uh, fire tornado. Hindering enemy attack. Attacking projectile. If you fire at a tornado, will be sucked in, causing a tornado to spit out Nova. Wow. You can summon a tornado and then shoot it. And it'll just do a blaze storm. Arrow storm. Toxic Grove. Leap in the air and fire a volley of toxic arrows. I'm assuming, yeah. Oh no. Toxic Plusle. Oh, we've seen this in the in the game picture. After the delay, it will explode. That's poison. Store poison grants 100% more damage. Unearth. Or almost at the bottom. Minion AoE physical duration. Raises a spike of bones from the earth in front of you, damage enemies, and the, the bone of corpses in the area are ripped out and reassembled in a short lived construct minions that fight. Wow, interesting. <laughs> Limit eight bone constructs. They made a bone construct, man. Interesting. That's interesting. Not gonna lie. Voting impact. Oh, I'm interested in this skill. It's like you're charging up and go, oh, bam. It's like a wind, wind attack, right? Extra wind up, uh, 30% stun, consume days on enemy, uh, cause more stun buildup, impact radius, vine arrow, 
She fired an arrow into the air that land after short delay, causing a plant to spring at the impact of the location. The plant sprouted vines and latched on the enemy. So, you, okay. You shoot it and then the vines. <laughs> Volcanic fissure. Oh, I don't know. I know about this. <laughs> the underground creating winding fissure that uh, deals an area damaging while traveling outward that persists for duration. Slamming the fissure will do different slam skill will cause the trigger uh, fissure to trigger aftershock. Yeah, it's back. Volcano. Create a volcano that fires projectiles around it. It's channeling the skill causes to fire more projectiles. Oh, wow. You should talent. <laughs> Any slam uh, near the volcano will erupt it. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Fires one projectile, same radius. You channel it. Well, hey, look. It's Voltic Mark. It's for shocking. More likely to get shocked, right? Yeah, yeah. Vulnerability curses a target area after a short delay, reduces the armor. Okay. I think I think the best way to apply curses is with a monk now. You just you just it you just put it as a socket curse and then you just go bam bam bam. <laughs> Eat it. Okay. Converts and then hex blast them. Converts 80 oh the wave of frost fires backwards sending a wave of freeze wait well, I'm, I'm okay I don't know there's so many of of the so many of the monk skills that just jump back and summon the wave of ice and like which one's which <laughs> this one hits the freezing that's a gem not a monk thing no but I mean the monk Han of a Chuhula you can put in socket curses though you can put this curse in there. Yeah, you can socket this into that one and then or whatever. And then go ham. Go ham, apply all the curses. So you don't get the delay, right? Or what? Does it still have a delay? Does the hand still have a delay? You still have to put it and you have to wait for the curse to act activate? No, it's just the hand of Tachula spell. Okay, we're a whirling assault. Like, go hand of Chikula. Right here, right? It said apply all the socketed curses and marks. Right? So, I don't know if it's delay or not. Oh, anyone can use the tan? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. It makes sense. No, but you have to be unarmed and quarterstaff, though. You can use it, but you have to use the quarterstaff or unarmed. So, I did mostly a monk thing. It's mostly a monk thing though, but I mean, I'm saying this because then any monk can use any skill anyways, right? Any class can use any skill, but mostly monks have this thing. Yeah, you can swap weapons, so. Oh, okay, so monk is more of a tendency thing, yeah. I mean, I'm saying it like that and I know everything can be used any anywhere. I'm just saying like it, there's no, yeah. You can use any class, any weapon. You just dip in starting point. Or at least in your uh, passive skill tree. Uh, whirling Assault. Oh, this is the one that twirls around doing this. Then what about the other one? Tempest Fleury. I don't know. I gotta see it. There's no video here, so... This is the one. This is the monkey. The monkey king one. You know, like, do, 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 do. They they need to have this when you're advancing also um block projectiles. Only projectile though, not melee strike, this projectile. This thing needs to deflect projectiles. I don't I, I, right now it doesn't, but it needs to. Feedback. Feedback to uh the Path of Exile devs. This needs to this needs to block projectiles. This projectile, you still get hit by melee attacks though, but only projectiles. <laughs> Just like in Black Mew Wukong. Yeah. Yeah, dude. And that's why I'm giving feedback right now. So they're changing for release. <laughs> Rolling Slash. Uh, perform a circular slash. Cutting. Cut, kicks up. Uh, storm of wind and dust around you. Slowing enemies and blinding them. Leaving area of unleashed. Oh, interesting. New attack will cause us. Using attack again will add a stage. Oh, you can keep. Adding to the storm. Oh my god. And then attack again, add the storm, mass in three stages. Um damage 
per stage, or it, it gets bigger too. <laughs> Use less damage when released. Oh, okay. When you're done, when you're done doing it, I guess. Uh, it does more damage, more AOE, and they also get slow to stuck there longer. <laughs> wind blast. Oh, this is the wind one. Okay, so it's the it's the ice one. The wind. Jump back. Go boom. Get away. Withering presence. While active, periodically withered enemies in their presence. Okay. So that's all the skill gems. And then we'll go over uh, support, support gems.